All right, UCF and Cincinnati uh, in the Big 12. We've got – it's funny. It feels like there's an AAC game. All the years they were together and would face off in the AAC. They are still conference foes, but now they're in the Big 12. Uh, both of these teams, we've got uh, UCF four, four and a half point road favorites, 58 and a half, 59 the total in this game. Um, I cashed overs with both of these teams last week. Uh, I had UCF West Virginia over the total. I had Cincinnati and Oklahoma State. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Okie State, for that last touchdown late in the game uh, to get that game over the total. I thought Cincinnati would do more offensively than they did, but that offense struggled uh, against Oklahoma State. But we still got there with the over in that game. Uh, I certainly lean that way in this game. Uh, definitely a point, a look for points, and certainly from UCF. UCF, actually, if you look at the loss to West Virginia last week, they moved the ball all day, all game against West Virginia, and they just consistently stubbed their toe, and there were some bad interceptions from John Rice Plumley, and that's still the, the issue he's got from time to time, just bad decisions and drive-killing mistakes. You know, and he had a few of those against West Virginia that really hurt uh, in the loss last week. Cincinnati, you know, the, the, the hard part to with the over to trust is this offense of uh, Cincinnati's right now. I mean, Emory Jones yeah. hasn't been good. He struggled in the passing game again against Oklahoma State. They ended up going to Brady Lichtenberg uh, at quarterback mm -hmm. because Emory Jones was struggling so much, and he was uh, not that much better. So they've got issues in the passing game right now, Cincinnati. So the one concern is UCF's going to have to do most of the scoring here uh, in this game. I would lean UCF on the road here. I don't know how you back Cincinnati. They're falling apart. And the one thing, even though I cashed with the over, I should have laid the points with Oklahoma State. I said it on the show last week. I know I don't like Gundy as much as a favorite, but how can you trust Cincinnati right now? They are just, they're having a hard time stepping up to Big 12 play uh, right now. There is no question about that. Their defense is getting gashed. They have very putrid quarterback play right now. Uh, so I would lean to the road favorite here. I don't want Cincinnati. I know that. And over as well. What do you think, C-Mac? I get the the over. We're just looking at the, the team total with UCF. Both these teams have been good. Six and two to the over this year. And both defenses seem to kind of just melt down. Cincinnati was bad again in the second half. They were just a team that kind of fades, it seems, lately. And a guy like Emory Jones isn't going to throw it around and, and get you back in it. And when he does, he seems like he turns the ball over. Uh, we mentioned how bad it was last week, and they're just not backable. But now they are dogs. But I don't think it's enough. You know, I wouldn't really lay it here with UCF. I would look at the team total or play the over because I just don't love them on the road from the bounce house laying points. But I do think they're a little better than Cincy in this game. So uh, I'd look team total and that and just stay off. I might get on the over. I want to look at this a little more. but. From all everything all year, there should be points.